trying to raise the cigarette tax. Raise the cigarette tax in Missouri. Okay. <laughs> 14 cents to 90 cents. From 14 cents to 90 cents a pack. I'll <laughs> teach you. <laughs> but other states like New York, it's like over four dollars. Yeah. So, but, but when this happens, the people that are most upset about this are like the convenience store owners. Sure. That they get a lot of out-of-state business. Yeah. So. Well, this is, this is a great example of, of kind of the black market too. If you can buy cigarettes who only have a 14 cent tax in Missouri, and then drive them all the way to New York where they have a 90 cent or a dollar 40 cent, four dollar tax, uh, you can sell them below the price in New York and clean up. Now, the term for that, when you buy it at a low price and you transport it or move it or whatever somewhere for a higher price, we call it arbitrage. And when you're arbitraging products like that, you can get pretty rich. You can also get pretty much in jail, right? Because it's illegal to sell those cigarettes in New York without having paid the New York tax on them. But people do it all the time. Uh, the big traffic used to be from North Carolina up to New York. Because North Carolina grows so much tobacco that, and the taxes are really low. They help the, the tobacco farmers there. Yeah. So, good idea to put a tax on cigarettes? Yes? No? Why yes? People are going to buy them anyway, therefore... Tax You're going to make more tax dollars, okay? Is that fair? Yeah. Is that fair to punish people just because they like to smoke cigarettes? Yeah, they're punishing uh, themselves. So, aren't they free Americans? Can't they be free to choose whether or not to smoke without us penalizing them? They should. Yeah, but the, then the health care for the populace, the rest of the I think people who wear glasses are gross. I think we ought to tax the hell out of glasses. How about that? <laughs> Do what? We have problems. We have problems. <laughs> You ever heard the term sin taxes? Mm -hmm. That's taxes on cigarettes and alcohol, right? Because we think they're sinful. And therefore we're going to tax them, A, to make tax revenue, and B, hopefully to reduce consumption. Is that fair? Is that the American way? Life isn't, life isn't fair is not an acceptable answer. Come on now. <laughs> Take a position. The other thing about those is they have um, outside effects. Because oh. their cigarettes and get what do we call those secondhand effects in economics? Opportunity costs. No? Huh? Phantom costs. Phantom costs is pretty creative. It's not the term, but it's very descriptive in its way. When I buy cigarettes and smoke them, is there somebody besides me and the guy who sold them to me who is affected by that? Secondhand smoke, or if I get lung cancer and don't have insurance, who's going to pay for it? What do we call that when a third party is affected? Externalities. Externalities. Yeah. And so if you want to argue it from an economics point of view, you say we're going to tax products and maybe services that create negative externalities. So we'll tax cigarettes and we'll tax liquor. Anything else we ought to be taxing? We'll tax gasoline because it pollutes the air. Anything else we ought to be taxing? What? What would you say? Cows. Cows, because they pollute the air. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that's one of the economic rationales for taxes, is that by smoking, or you running your, your, your paper mill on the river, or polluting the river, you're creating a negative externality, and so we'll tax you on the amount of paper you produce. Because your cost is not the total cost to society. Can you have positive externalities? Mm -hmm. Give me an example of a positive externality. A lighthouse? A police force. Why does a police force have positive externalities? I pay a cop X thousand dollars a year, and you're saying that whatever he's producing is in excess of that amount? How? It affects everyone else as well, not just to not pay for it. Good. Even if you're not a taxpayer, do you gain a benefit from an effective police force? Yes, typically a reduction in crime at the very least. How about public education? Does that have public uh, positive externalities? What? Say again? People are, well, you're on shaky ground there. They're smarter, but yeah, you're right. And what's the benefit of them being, quote, more educated? A better workforce. What else? More innovation. More innovation? Lower unemployment. They get jobs better. Hopefully they make better decisions in the voting booths. Okay. So, if there are positive externalities to education, but I don't have any kids going to public school, why should I be paying taxes? 
Because Why should I pay school taxes? You're still benefiting. Because I'm a beneficiary of some of those positive externalities. And remember, of course, for us old bastards, right? If those kids finish high school and get a job, they're paying for your Social Security strictly. So shut up and pay your school taxes. Fair enough.